I've just seen David Bowie is the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. It's a fairly small exhibition, but it creates a whole world. It's just fantastic. But I would say that I am a David Bowie fan. I can't pretend I'm not. So to me, it was absolutely magical to walk into these two darkened rooms and to see his clothes, song lyrics, things scribbled on the back of cigarette packets, his record covers and describing his entire career, though it has to be said that it rather draws a veil over the 1980s, which weren't David Bowie's best decade. If you're not a fan, I don't really know what you would think. But for me, the triumph of this really brilliant, dazzling show that's full of kind of great audiovisual tricks is that right at the end, you come to a screen that is about 20 foot high, five times life size, absolutely dwarfs you. And there is David Bowie playing the music. And for me, that value validates the whole exhibition. You suddenly understand what this man is about. Obviously the V&A makes a very good case for him being an innovator, for leading fashion, for changing the way we thought about things, for teachings about different kinds of art forms, for really changing the position of culture in society. But actually all of that, all of the, 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 the exhibits, the uh, pictures and the drawings, the drawings are wonderful, um, are based in his music. And it's when you come face to face with the music at the end that I think, even if you're not a Bowie fan, you have to admit that this man is pretty magnificent. So I loved it. See what you think. Let me know what you think. I've written about it in the paper and you can leave comments below. And if you like this review and like to see more reviews like this, subscribe to our channel.